Low interest rates, QE, Fed printing money like never before and buying bonds to infuse that money into the stock market, central banks directly buying stocks to manipulate the market, even the Fed is doing it which is illegal. Government spending like never before when the economy doesn't need it. All of this will keep pushing the market higher until they can no longer control inflation, then it will come crashing down. Enjoy the ride while it lasts. Just pay attention, and don't be one of the many holding the bag at the end. There is an opportunity in every crisis, and the deeper the crisis, the better the opportunity can be. But some people are not capable of seeing it. We have all heard that the Chinese use the same word to describe the concepts of crisis and opportunity. What they mean to say is that in every crisis lies an opportunity, depending on how it is looked at. A lot of you are asking, what should I do, give us some solutions. Well, I tell you what I personally do. 1. I buy silver. 2. I buy farmland. 3. I invest in assets, businesses related to aged care and healthcare. That's all I do. Diversify. And don't put all your eggs in one basket or count your chickens before they hatch. And always remember that the most important asset we have is our mind while the masses run for toilet paper, the few focus on building their immunity. I have been warning my viewers about the fact that the stock market was being held up by the constant adding of liquidity to the financial system via the Fed's repo loans as a result of sluggish economic cash flow. The stock market continued rising higher while the cash in the financial system was drying up. I knew that sooner or later, quantitative easing would become ineffective, and the market was just waiting for a catalyst to initiate a massive market downturn. The pandemic is that catalyst. I tell you the truth. I didn't want to be correct in my analogy and forecast, but I am starting to see every day that my forecast and analogy were absolutely correct. This is the time when you don't want to be right, but, I saw the writing on the wall months ago. This is not a bear market, it's the beginning of a global depression. Real estate is not good to buy right now. Wait until hyperinflation. Buy agricultural land and produce your own food is the best way to protect yourself and others. The second is gold and silver. The third is cattle or goat farming. There is a great buying opportunity coming in the next one to two years. Prices will be cheap. You should have some cash handy and be ready for this disaster. This crisis of gigantic proportions seen by some as the perfect storm should help us at least to see better, to see more clearly, to decentralize our look from our individual or national problems, to have a global look, to realize that our local crises, for example the dangerously growing unemployment, cannot be fully understood if we do not place them in an international perspective. This crash is going to be so big. But you can also turn it into the biggest opportunity in the history of the world. No amount of quantitative easing will be able to stop the coming crash. Even if they solve this virus thing, we are still going to have a crash. This is the worst time in world history. It's also the greatest opportunity to the history of the world but what you do with those is up to you. While 99% of major economies are cutting rates like cutting grass on their lawns. If this is not a recession, then I don't know what is. The problem is that one man's debt is another man's wealth. If your own savings are denominated in dollars, forgiving another's debt wipes out your savings. That is the problem with a fiat system. The only option is to personally carry no debt and get out of the system altogether. Tens of trillions for the too big to jail and too big to fail. You cannot taper a Ponzi scheme. But you paper a Ponzi until the paper is confetti. Wall Street is not the real economy. Large, medium, and small businesses, producers, and service providers are the real economy. They need help before the thieves of Wall Street get the free cash that will be devalued as soon as they put it through their ringer. They are the ones that offshored everything they can. And are now the ones taxpayers have to bail out when they falter. Wall Street's next shtick is to automate as much production as they can bring jobs back home to robots. Can a virus really cause this amount of mayhem in global financial markets? Or, were global financial markets already weak? I seem to believe the latter. The virus is real. The real question is, how healthy are you? During this crisis, you are either going to get healthier and wealthier, or you're going to go bust. Your choice, it's between your ears, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit, and your attitude. This could be the best thing that ever happened to you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You either going to play the victim and wait for the government to take care of you, 
or you are going to grow up and start creating assets that will protect you. Every problem and every crisis should make you stronger. The recession is a reset. Learn from this. A market crash of epic proportions is coming. I believe this is the precursor. The stock market could crash after the interest rate starts to increase again because this is usually when crashes happen. This is why I preach this in my videos, so investors can understand what they are up against. You can see for yourself that your 401k is the poor man's gold nugget that isn't worth a penny. The smarter you are with money, the more money you will make without working for someone else. A well-allocated portfolio will do its job on your behalf. Don't let society fool you anymore about money. We have been fooled ever since inception. Don't let this continue to happen to you. It is now time to stop the cycle. They are going to keep you in fear about the virus to the point where all your assets will be removed from you. This event has been planned for decades. The 2007 toilet tanking of the economy was just a precursor. They need a better excuse to truly enslave you. In politics, nothing happens by accident. If it happens, you can bet it was planned that way. Bankers are more dangerous than viruses or standing armies. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. The Fed will kick the can down the road until they can't anymore. And by the looks of things, QE is going to be with us until we fall like Rome. That could be years away until China takes over the title of number one economy in the world. It's gonna be bad sooner than most people think. The market will break from the Fed and continue entering the extended bear market, of which already began, before these Fed idiots make the necessary adjustments. The problem with most of the Fed chairmen over the years is that they're geniuses but have zero common sense. They make the same mistake time and time again, for decades now, and they're gonna do it again. The market will begin factoring in the excessive inflation, that's already here as we speak, long before the nummy Fed chairman and their cronies will announce that they're gonna have to move long before the 2024-2023's dates they've provided so far. Preserve capital. This one's gonna be a doozy with the excessive amount of folks in this market that have no business being in the markets. They don't have any understanding of the mechanics of the marketplace. The oncoming train will straighten that mess out as well. Be here when it's the coming demise is over, with capital in hand. This won't be a month or two. This is gonna be a 3-12 to 12 month route, once it really kicks in, burning out 99% of the present-day retail traders that are simply gambling like it's Vegas. Just say no to equities and save your money cause you're gonna need it. Biden will increase the minimum wage by 38%. Funny how they continue to say jobs will be in the tech sector when entry-level jobs make the switch to AI. I don't recollect tech companies hiring high school dropouts and deadbeats. It's ironic that tech and AI will be eliminating low-end jobs soon with automation. This lockdown is not getting lifted anytime soon. They will keep extending the deadline as they have done so far. Lockdown will never work when you fight viruses. This is a bad precedent, and I am pretty sure it will be used in the future more often. And they are shutting down just about every business because of this. This will kill small and medium-sized businesses while separating people so they cannot discuss what's really going on. Open your eyes, don't believe everything you're told, especially not the first thing you're told. As I said, the real story won't be known for years to come. This pandemic is the manufactured reset scapegoat they created. The greatest transfer of wealth to the 1% is happening right now. But regardless, something huge is coming, but it ain't the pandemic. Vegas and Disney parks do not shut down for nothing, their god is money. CEOs are abandoning corporations like rats leaving a sinking ship. Look what they are doing, don't listen to what they are saying. I can't believe people can't see this and are actually obeying. For three years, we have seen nothing but fake news on all levels and sides, but now we believe they are telling us the truth. This is a globalist ploy to enact tyranny and remove our Bill of Rights, all in the name of medical tyranny. Next, you will see a push for politicians to demand that you cannot go back to work unless you've been vaccinated. And they will install a tattoo on your hand that they can scan. You won't be allowed to go outside your house unless you can prove that you've been tested. This emergency will only end when the oligarchs have looted enough from the US Treasury peasant. When the military is filling our streets, and there are checkpoints, that's when people will wake up. 
and it will be too late. You've been had America.